Here I want to introduce the concept of bond energies. So if reactions, uh, if you want to estimate delta H standard for a reaction where covalent bonds are broken or formed, then bond energies provides a, a quick and easy way of, of calculating that. So bond energies are experimentally measured values. Uh, delta H values, delta H standard values, um, for, for covalent bonds. So for example, the bond energy of H2 is simply the measured uh, standard enthalpy change for breaking this bond. If for more complicated molecules like here where you're breaking a double bond, delta H standard, uh, the bond energy is an average of delta H standard for breaking this bond and average over lots of different molecules containing a carbon-carbon double bond. And the same is true for carbon-carbon uh, single bonds or carbon-hydrogen single bonds. So these have been measured, averaged, and now there are many tables that you can find on the net that, that list these values. So for example, if I go to Google uh, and type bond energies, Uh, I get, for example, here in the ChemWiki. First, and a more thorough explanation of what they are, and then a table here that I can use uh, to look up values. So, for example, here is my value for HH. Right here, CH. right here, and so forth. Right, so using these values, I can then estimate the delta H for this reaction. Right, to make ethane from ethene and H2, I have to break a CZ double bond that costs this much energy. I have to break uh, an HH single bond that costs this and much energy. And then when I form a CC single bond, I get back this much energy. So here it's negative. And I also form two CH bonds. Right? And I get back this much energy. And when I say get back, I mean I have a negative sign in front of it. And so the end result is 100 minus 128 kilojoules per mole, which is an estimate of delta H standard. The main thing to be careful of when you use bond energies is that they're, while they are a little bit like heats of formation, they have the opposite sign. And that's why I have reactants here and products here. And so the most common mistake one makes when using bond energies to estimate the delta H right, is to use these values but switch reactants and products. So take products minus reactants, which we are used to from heat of formation. And then the sign, you get the wrong sign. Right? So you have to be careful when you do this. Okay, so a task for you now is to use bond energies, the table uh, that I showed you before, to estimate delta H standard for this reaction here. So click on the pause button, go to work, and when you think you have the right answer, press play. Ready? Okay, so the right answer is C. Uh, and so the one way of doing this is to, again, break all the bonds and then form all the bonds. And here I've done it a slightly different way. Now I put a negative sign in front of everything. Right? So if I do that, then I have products here minus, minus reactants here. Uh, it's completely equivalent to what I did previously, but now I have products minus reactants, and I just have to remember to multiply everything by minus 1. Okay, so if I look at my product, right, I form 5 cc single bonds, and one CC double bond. 
right? So there are negative signs in front of all of these. And in order to do this, I have to break three CC double bonds and one CC single bond in my reactants. So this, including the negative sign, minus this, including the negative sign, right? Then gives me this.